how to create your own 3d movies with ai so a lot of people are seeing movies like this cartoons like this going on right now and they don't know how to create them because they don't know how to use ai or they feel like you need to use blender and all that to visualize the 3d ai movies that are going on right now bro all those 3d movies that you see are actually created by ai and i can teach you how to create it. first off i'll teach you how to get your storyline secondly i'll teach you how to prompt and then the next thing i'll teach you how to bring these images into life or this text into videos okay you'll be able to make money you can start up a youtube channel with this and start earning money you can actually start creating ai movies or you can start creating 3d movies and posting on your channels or whatever social media platform that you have and you earn lots of money yes all these videos are monetized i don't know who is teaching you but if i do teach you all my youtube videos are monetized or all my ai videos are monetized because i know how to work with ai and get monetized on youtube and on every social media platform so let's go let me teach you how to create this so first thing first you're starting with chat gpt okay so i'll click on chat gpt and it opens like this now i'll ask chat gpt to give me a story interesting story so i'll start by saying give me a short 3d 3d pixel style because that's what i like pixel style story of a young girl and her brother her brother who live in nigeria who live in nigeria walking 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 as farmers working as farmers in the mountains okay so this is it then i'll click here I'll click on generate i'll click on generate and then i'll wait it i'll wait for it seats of the mountain high in the green de -de 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 -de. okay now we have this once your story is done right now once your story is done the next thing is you come here and you say give me image prompt image prompt image prompt for each scene each scene with consistent character with consistent character with consistent character okay now this is because you want to make everything to be consistent okay now i'll click on this i have this i'll click on generate and wait for it to give us with consistent character so we wait for that so this is the first one you have the second you have the third now these are actually asked for image prompts if you have a good video tool and you don't want to go through image to video right you ask for motion prompt so you just click on text to video you understand but i'll be using image to video because i want very consistent characters that's why i'll use the image to video so we have our our images like this. we have our prompts like this the next thing we do is we copy the first scene so here you can see consistent character amara 12 years old nigerian girl brown skin with big bright eyes braided hair tied with a yellow scarf so this is the first one okay this is the first character and their description this is the second character and their description both appear throughout a pixel style yeah that that one is just how they look like now first thing first the next thing we're going to do is we we'll copy the first scene copy the first scene copy now here it says pixel star of a scene of a young nigerian girl amara and her brother tunde walking waking up in their clay mud house now this is number one i'll click here and i put this first one if you want to get consistent character follow up this video now the next thing after i put in the first prompt i'm not generating this prompt 
I'm putting in the first prompt. Now, the next thing that I need to do is to go back and copy Amara's description. I'll copy Amara's description here. Copy Amara. Copy. And then you come here and after where they mentioned Amara, you paste Amara description. Okay? That's how it works. Now, the second place where they mentioned the brother, you copy Tunde. Copy Tunde like so. Copy. Then you come to after they mentioned Tunde here. Then you post you paste Tunde's uh, description as well. Now, this is, you've described Amara and you've described Tunde, okay? So, this is, this is them and their description. After you must have done all this and you've described them, then you click on generate. To generate this image, then you click on generate. So we'll wait for ChatGPT to create this image for us. Now, you must not create your image only on ChatGPT. There are other tools that you can create your image on, okay? You can go to your favorite tool app and create your image. So if you're not using ChatGPT, you can use Speaklumen, you can use Leonardo. There are different AI tools to use. Trust me, different and many different AI tools to use for image so for those of you who are still new and you say, uh, ChatGPT, you have to pay for it. You have some free time to use ChatGPT. But then again, you can go to Leonardo. This is Leonardo and this is how it looks like. This one here. You click on Leonardo. It's called the Leonardo AI. That's the name up there, the Leonardo AI. Once you get to the Leonardo AI, you click here on create. You click on gen. Come here. You have this interface where you see prompt. You paste your prompt. After you've pasted your prompt, you come down here and you choose style to 3D render. After you choose your style, you come down here and you choose the dimension, which is the 16.9 dimension, and then you can generate. Now, there are different methods to do this, okay? There are many different methods to do this. So if you're not using this app, you're using the chat GPT or you're using the Pixlumen. They are very good for image generation. So yeah, I just decided to bring it here so you get an idea. So after the image must have generated, this is our image. So after the image must have generated, then we move to the next image, okay? So we'll generate all these images. I'll save this one now and then I'll move to the next. Now, after you get all your images, the next thing you need to do is to get your voice over. So you say, give me give me the narrator because narrator the narrator version narrator version of this story okay so you ask for the narrator version of the story then you click and then you wait for chat gpt to give you the narrator version now once you get the narrator version of this story the next thing you need to do is to generate the voice over for this okay you generate the voiceover. So this is the narrator version of this. This is where it starts. So this is it. I'll click here and I'll copy this. Okay. I'll copy it. Copy. Now, the next tool I'm going into is 11 Labs. You can use 11 Labs or you can use Minimax. To generate your voice any of these ones can go for you i'm already registered on 11 labs so if you're not registered please register on 11 labs then you come to where it says text to speech then you paste your story okay i'll paste the story here so let's say i have my story here then down here you can see rachel you see another name or any other name you click there and you choose your narrator's voice that you want any of the narrator's voice maybe let's the choose the thing always uh, happens that you really believe in and the belief okay. in a thing makes it happen. So after you choose Brian, give me a minute. The thing always happens that you really believe in. Okay. So after we choose Brian, we come here and then we click on generate. You click on generate and you wait for your voiceover to generate, okay? It doesn't take time. Down the winding it take path time. they walk. Baskets okay. balanced on we the are heads. Done. Now click download here. You can see download down there. Click on download and save this to your file. 
So I'm saving this to my file and I'll write the name Amara, okay, on the story because I don't want to forget. Done. Now the next thing we need to do is to turn these images into videos. I'll be using Halo AI. I don't know which one you're using. Minimax Halo AI. This is my go-to. Now once you come here, you click on image to video. You bring your image. You click on image. You click on album. Then you bring in the first image, which is this one. Now once you bring in your image, it's loading. Now my image is there. I'll go back to ChatGPT and I'll go copy the prompt that I used in creating this image. Okay? So the first prompt is this. This first prompt. This is what we are using to animate our image. So I'm going back to Hello AI and I'll paste it here. Paste. Done. I click on generate the 25 coins down here and I click. Then I'll wait for it to generate. Why it is generating, we'll do the second one. We'll do the second one again. So here, I'll click here, go back, text to image, bring in another image. You can actually do why the other one is going, you do the other one, okay? So you don't necessarily need to wait for this other one to finish downloading. So I'll copy the second prompt. Copy the second prompt. Go down to image. I did not save the second image. Click and save the second image. Then we go back. Please, if you've watched till now, do not forget to subscribe, okay? Subscribe, share, and comment. So this is the second image there. I'll click again. Paste the prompt that I use in generating that image to get a perfect move. And then I click. That's the second one going. So why the second one is going, we do the third one. This is me showing you that you can actually multitask on this app, okay? On this Hello AI. You can do why your tool is, your video is generating, you're generating another one. So you don't need to wait before for one to generate, finish, then you generate the second one. No, you can generate them while you go, okay? And make sure you generate all your images and turn them into videos. All your images from the start to finish. So yeah, I'm doing it for this one as well. I click on done. Then we wait for all of them to now generate, okay? Once they all generate into videos, then I'll show you how to put it together. Then we move to the next step on how to put it together. Next step is CapCut. After you have all your images together, you've generated your images, your videos, and you have your voiceover, I'll come now to CapCut and I click on new video or new project. Click. Once you click, you take those videos that you generated already. So you click on them one after each. Then you click on add. So you have your story like this. You must have generated all of these stories. Okay. You have your stories like this. So what you do here is. What you do here is down here. You click on audio. Then you click on sounds. Now you click on the file future up there. Once you click on the file future, you click on device. You come here and say select from device. It takes you to your gallery where you saved your sound. Then you go and click the sound that you saved from your file. Then you click on open. It automatically comes down here. Then you click on the plus. Then automatically it's under your video. Now you have something like down this. Down the winding path they walk. Baskets balanced on their heads, hearts. So here, this is where it started. Image, I missed the image. Okay, we have it Down here. Down the winding path they walk. Baskets balanced on their heads, hearts light with. So you see, it started like that, the and that's path how. They walk. Baskets balanced on their. Yeah. So this is how you actually get your stories, animate them, put them together. Fix this, the audio. If the audio is not matching to another one, you make sure you change the images, put the images where they're supposed to be to match up with the story. Okay? Their heads, like hearts light with laughter. The mountain air is cool, filled with the scent of banana leaves and wet grass. So once you have like this and your video is shorter, you click on duplicate and you duplicate your video 
So it will catch up with your story. So you have longer videos. This is how you can do your longer videos. Duplicate your videos. Okay? So yeah, when you're done, you click on done. You export your video and you can now post this video with no stress. So yeah, guys, this is how you can get your 3D videos, 3D movies and have no problem. Ciao, ciao. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to comment in the comment section the next AI tool you want me to teach you. Okay? Bye.